Rothschild, if there's one thing that has been consistently echoed over the years by countless people, it's that Tina Knowles is often regarded as the true villain within the Knowles family. When I say villain, I'm referring to how people have spoken about her alleged narcissistic, controlling, and manipulative ways. It's been said that she has a deep-seated colorism issue, as evidenced by some disturbing comments she has allegedly made. For instance, she reportedly told someone in reference to a decision made about an individual named Ashley that Ashley is talented, but she is so big. She towers over the other girls, and she is too dark and ugly. This quote, allegedly from Tina, highlights the concerning issues that have been whispered about for years. But don't just take my word for it. It's said that her two ex-husbands, Matthew Knowles and Richard Lawson, could allegedly attest to some of the more sinister aspects of her character. So could her daughter Solinge, everyone who has ever been a part of Destiny's Child, and pretty much anyone who is closely associated with her. Many things have been said, many things have been seen, but let's start with how she supposedly treats Beyonce as if she's her only child. It's as if Solinge doesn't even exist. Is Solinge a joke to Tina? And wait a minute, did I mention Tina and Jay-Z? I'm talking about the entire family dynamic here, including Solange, who seems to be the one with real talent and integrity. Yet, the way she has allegedly been treated by her mother is beyond disgusting. It's been suggested that Tina is the reason behind the issues that have existed between Beyonce and Solange, allegedly because Tina doesn't even try to hide that she loves Beyonce more. This supposed favoritism reached an all-time high during the time Beyoncé was working on Asterix, Renaissance Asterix. According to an insider who spoke to Media Takeout, there was something going on between the sisters. The insider said that it was odd that Solange wasn't part of Beyoncé's album, as it was the kind of sound that was right up Solange's alley. Not only was Solange not part of the projects, but she didn't send out a single tweet or Instagram post supporting Asterix Renaissance Asterix. The insider noted that while they didn't have first-hand evidence of a rift between the sisters, they had heard things about their relationship that made them think something was definitely going on. Word on the street is that the real reason Solange didn't give a shout-out to her sister was that she was finally tired of being pushed by Tina to work towards Beyonce's success yet never receiving enough recognition for her own contributions. Last year, for instance, Beyoncé didn't even mention Solange in her Grammy speech, despite mentioning almost everyone else in her family. She thanked her parents, her husband, her children, and the queer community, but didn't acknowledge her sister. Poor Solange, right? If there's another person who has experienced Tina's alleged wrath, it has to be Richard Lawson. By now, it's well known that Tina filed for divorce from Richard, citing irreconcilable differences. According to court documents, these differences led to the breakdown of their marriage, making it impossible for them to continue living together as husband and wife. The terms of their settlement revealed that neither party would receive spousal support, but Tina was ordered to make a one-time payment of $300,000 to Richard. Additionally, the settlement included a non-disparagement clause that prohibits either of them from speaking negatively about the other or their children and spouses. The clause specifically emphasized the protection of the privacy rights of their grandchildren, prohibiting either party from discussing the grandchildren publicly, whether verbally or in writing. Many people were not surprised by the divorce, considering how the couple allegedly behaved in public, it's been suggested that Tina never truly saw Richard as a worthy husband, which is why she kept Matthew's last name and often embarrassed Richard in interviews. In one interview, she said, I envisioned the type of man I wanted. I prayed for the type of man I wanted, and I got pretty much that. Is he perfect? Absolutely not, but he has a lot of the qualities that I love, and we're having a really good time. This statement led many to believe that Tina only married Richard to get back at Matthew. Once she no longer needed Richard, she decided to end the marriage. 
As for her first husband, Matthew Knowles, they separated in 2009 after it was revealed that Matthew had fathered a love child with Alexandra Wright. Tina initially dropped the divorce suit in 2010, only to refile the following year, citing conflict of personalities that prevented them from reconciling. As the story goes, Matthew had been involved with several other women besides Alexandra, but things became particularly messy because Alexandra went public with her pregnancy. Matthew's affair with Alexandra wasn't the only scandal, though. Another woman named Takoya Branscombe was also pregnant around the same time, which further complicated the situation. It's unclear whether Matthew was divorced or merely separated from Tina when these affairs occurred, but whatever the case, it was undeniably a messy situation. Many have wondered what Solange thinks of all this, given that she now seems to be more outspoken about her feelings. There have been rumors that Matthew never acknowledged his children born out of wedlock because Tina allegedly prohibited it. Allegedly, Tina also forbade Beyonce and Solange from having any relationship with their half-siblings. Besides Alexandra Wright's child, there's another publicly known child, Koi, whose mother is Tikoya Branscombe. Tikoya was a dancer at the time she met Matthew, and she has said that he treated her like the love of his life during their affair. However, things changed when he learned she was pregnant, and he subsequently left her. Like with Alexandra, Matthew denied Koi was his child until a DNA test confirmed otherwise. People have said that Tina made sure the women who were involved with Matthew suffered, along with their children. While Matthew was never seen as a saint, it's been suggested that Tina played a significant role in how these situations unfolded. Allegedly, she instructed Matthew to let these women and their children suffer, and because he was under strict orders, he complied. But don't get it twisted. This isn't to say that Matthew was innocent. He has his own issues, and it's been suggested that he was no better than Tina. According to David Lee Brewer, Beyonce's childhood vocal coach, both Matthew and Tina were involved in questionable activities. In his tell-all book, Asterix, Beyonce, Raising Genius, a Teacher, and His Prodigy Asterix, Brewer wrote about Matthew's alleged drug use and Tina's affair with Richard Lawson. Brewer claimed that Matthew's behavior had become increasingly erratic, and rumors circulated that he had turned to stronger drugs. Brewer also recounted an incident where he allegedly caught Tina kissing Richard at their home, which led to an awkward introduction between Brewer and Richard. But if you think that's bad, wait until you hear what Tina allegedly did to the former members of Destiny's Child. It's been said that she was the mastermind behind many of the group's issues, particularly when it came to the treatment of former member Farrah Franklin. According to Farah, Tina played a significant role in her departure from the group. Farah has stated that the narrative shared by Matthew and Beyonce that she missed shows and was subsequently kicked out was false. Farah claims that she never missed a show and was unfairly portrayed as unprofessional. 